I see households as a really salient indicator of, uh, of of housing demand, really kind of the downstream effects of economic growth, population growth, income growth, all those primal forces that actuate the housing market down the line. And if you skip to page 18, which, oh, man, you already have, <laughs> yeah. uh, you can see that may, despite maybe some worry about demographic shifts uh, may, away from the huge number of baby boomer households into the smaller Gen X, millennial and Gen Z households, if you, we're looking right now at the numbers for household growth from 2010 to 2023 and the household numbers are appreciably bigger now than they were in the 2010s. Um, there isn't a huge decline. There was a decline from 22 to 2023, 20, but we're still way above where we were in 2018. And and the general trend is is up. Um, I think that I, I think that that's, that's really promising. I still think that broader population trends are relevant and worth watching. Like I'm not. It, it is true that baby boomers were a big part of the population and they aren't going to live forever and and there are smaller generations than the baby boomers that Don't are now that. yeah well actually maybe they will live forever well, millions now living um but i don't know but yeah. but but even but notwithstanding that like it there is still a lot of people that are going to need housing i'm always worried about these, you know, if, if we really are, and this has been in the conversation a little bit for the past few months, and maybe it's just me, my own looking at it, but like population growth is not, is not what it used to be in, in the United States, uh, True. whether it's birth rate or whatever. Um, Immigration is a little bit more volatile because that can change based on what policy you have. But for the United States, population growth, not as strong. And in uh, what, 18? Uh, you, your point about immigration is, it makes sense. It yeah. Th- is worth mentioning though, is that oh, yeah. that has that immigration has kind of backstopped some of that lack of population. And growth. it becomes more and it becomes more important uh, in a larger portion of your population growth as as your popular as as birth rates decline. Yeah. Um, but even even so, I think that right now the the housing undersupply is way 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 bigger than any than any of these slight changes in population. However, it's a uh, it, it, it's not going to be like that f- for all time. There's, I, I keep wondering at what point will will we intersect? Will we will we ever? <laughs> maybe the the economy will adapt. Will will we ever go from oh man, there's a massive undersupply of housing. Housing's unaffordable. To oh now population's declining, and we we don't need as many houses anymore. I mean, that's what it's like in Japan, essentially. Yeah, and and also I wonder, like, depreciation might have a thing, You know, I think think if we are, as a country, kind of open to Mm -hmm. immigration and doing it in a a safe uh, way that makes sense, um, I I think we'll... We will we'll fare okay because one, you know, as a country, you know, we're innovative. I mean, going through this whole AI, you know, revolution, who knows what things are going to look like in five yeah. years. Um, but I think the United States of America is always going to be a place where people want to come and yeah. be. Yeah. Um, and so I think we've got a, there's a, it's not necessarily, the birth rate isn't, you know, we, as a self sustaining, if we're, no, we're not going to let anybody, we're not going to let anybody else in. We, you know, and people you can leave, and we're going to have less kids and less babies. Mm-hmm. I think we'd be facing a much harder um, challenge. Yeah. But if we are open to saying, "Hey, look, qualified to work here. You want to work hard, or you know, if you get a degree here, you can stay and keep keep a job, <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever, whatever <laughs> it is." Um, I we're gonna we're gonna be able to sustain a much more balanced you know growth you mm-hmm. know over time whereas other developed countries such as Europe or Japan they're not seeing that influx yeah um, it just it's just not an option yeah um, and so I, I think that it will, it will bode well for us I popped up this immigration surge yeah. boost population growth just because it's relevant Matt I had um, no idea that it was the numbers were these were this stark how yeah. much that's a big that's a yeah. So yeah. what for now it looks like natural increase of popul for 2023 natural increase of population was responsible for 0.5% of the population change. Uh, I'm sorry, half a million uh, population in in population change and um and immigration was responsible for let's say 3 million three, three and a half. 3 and a half. Wow. Yeah, 3 and a half million. So that's a like seven seven times uh of the natural increase that's I had Really, I had no idea. <laughs> this is—I uh, I knew that it was knew, becoming uh, more it's important. A, it's yeah. a big deal. I've been yeah. talking about this for a while. Yeah. That, like, that thought. Yeah, this—it's it's a driver. And again, outside of um, housing, you know, where are these people going to live? But mm-hmm. you know, from 
a standpoint of we've got all these jobs that we need yeah. Americans don't want to do mm-hmm. and we need a cheaper labor uh, pool and with inflation you know we had not enough we had too many job openings not enough workers mm-hmm. where are the workers going to come from because all the American workers they're all stuck you know working from home and they just you know they want to get their Starbucks delivered for them and, yeah. and, and yeah. work on Zoom all day mm-hmm. like we, but there's other jobs that need to be done that mm-hmm. we can't just do that for agreed um well, there's so much more in this report, Matt, and so yeah. we'll your market for next week um, to continue to jump in at some of these other data points um, because, again, there's so much packed in here. But also, if you want to just get ahead of the game and read this yourself, sign up for the newsletter. 